Hello everyone. Hello. I'm Shirley. And I'm Max. So today we're going to talk about five things to know before traveling to Albania. Which one is the first one? The first one is accommodation. We stay for a long term in two cities in Albania, which are Saranda and Tirana. And we book from Airbnb. They give you a weekly and monthly discount if you stay for a long term. And also you can ask for a little bit discount, message them and say that you're interested in their place and we'll stay for one month or one week or two weeks based on our experience they say yes yeah. but what if you want to stay just for two or three nights right we book from booking.com that's a platform that provides hotel service or you can also get from hostel world and other kind of platforms that provide hotel service we suggest you to stay around the city center so close to attraction so you can save time in tirana we paid 400 USD for a month, mm -hmm. everything included, through Airbnb. What about the Saranda one? Saranda is a bit more expensive. We managed to uh, rent a place for a month, two-bedroom apartment with a wonderful view. Yeah, we don't regret it. Yeah, absolutely not. Saranda was amazing. We spent uh, 550 USD, everything included. Talking about short terms, Beirat and Girocastra pretty much the same, 18, maximum 20 USD per night, yeah. same as Blora. We also stay for a couple of nights in a hostel, 14 USD with an ensuite bathroom. Actually, the hostel was right at the city center. Number two, transportation. How do we get around? Well, the best option is without a doubt by car. You can rent a car for roughly between 20 40 euro per day depending if it's a manual or automatic transmission but we were on a budget we were always going around by bus well the inner city ones uh, online you cannot find much of information you can either go to any bus stop mm -hmm. and ask locals or get on whichever bus and ask information either to the driver or to uh, the assistant and they're willing to help you. Ticket on the bus, pay cash. And the maximum price is one USD. Talking about domestic, so from one city to another one, you can find it in Kashar, which is a bit far from the city center. To get there, you need to get a bus. Yeah. Don't do like us, where we walk under the sun. It was two hours walk, and it was crazily hot. And far. And far. They call a furgon, basically vans. Mm -hmm. They travel all over Albania, so from Tirana to any village to any other big city. You pay cash on the bus, whichever approaches you is willing to help you and provide you information. They don't mark up the price, yeah. they don't scam you, they absolutely, genuinely want to help you. Yeah, so if someone stop you where you want to go, they're not trying to scam you. Just tell them yeah. where you want to go. They're and really they're willing, willing to help. To help. Yes. Yes, yes, that's what we experience. And what about travel internationally? Yeah, travel internationally. In Tirana, there is a main uh, bus station right at the city center. You can get buses to go all over Europe yeah. to the neighbor countries or either far like Italy, Germany, all over. Our recommendation is going there the day before, mm -hmm. ask for information, tickets, availability, and what time they depart. Just to make sure that everything goes smoothly. What can happen is, if you show up based on the information that you found online, you won't find the bus, because maybe you already departed, or maybe it's not even run. If you want to buy the tickets on the bus, they accept cash only. Yeah, that's true. And you go to the um, office, you can actually even pay by card. Yeah. And then number three, money. Money, right. Let's talk about money. Albanian local currency is like, we recommend you guys to have some cash before you arrive in Albania. It is good to have Euro or American dollar. The country is cash based. Many places, they don't accept card. Also, if you want to withdraw money from the ATM, the charge is like big fees. Big fees. <laughs> Most of them, they accept cash only. So make sure that you have enough amount of cash with you. So it's easy to uh, have a transaction like local market or bakery, even restaurant and cafes. Yeah, don't rely on card payments. Yeah. Places that accept card, normally supermarket or shopping center, of course, 
and some restaurant but yeah. not all of them and also don't forget to exchange your money to euro or usd before you leaving the country we learned the hard lesson because we didn't exchange our money before we still have we some lack yeah we have quite a good amount of money left so yeah, yeah remember to exchange your money before leaving the country now let's talk about food and beverage oh let's talk about important things now <laughs> yeah <laughs> what did we eat what do they eat yeah well albanian cuisine is a mediterranean cuisine mm. also influenced by the italian one they eat a lot of fresh seafood grilled meat mm -hmm. fresh fruits and veggies yep. pasta amazing dessert oh. one of our favorite dessert which is Trilecce. wow <laughs> The cake soaked in three different types of milk with caramel. Honestly, I'm dreaming now. <laughs> one of the best coffee That's really and cheap. You can find 50 cents coffee and two euro coffee. Don't go to touristy spots, just go where the locals go. Wonderful express. That's true. You can also find international food, such as, well, Italian is all over, uh, Greek, Turkish. Yeah, we saw some few Asians. In bakeries you can find burek, bread, and all sort of savory snacks, yeah. even sweets, or made biscuits. Yeah. That's what we used to have in the morning. What about groceries? You can go to any supermarket, but inside you won't find fresh fruits and veggies. You will find it just right outside, owned by someone else. Actually, inside you can pay by card, and you can find any sort of products, and outside, so where you buy the local produce is cash only. What about the price mix? What we normally do is going where the locals go. That's what we love. Mm -hmm. And you will really get affordable prices. Yeah. You have a, a real experience about the food, about the ambience. If you want to treat yourself and go to a fancy place, you will find many, mm -hmm. especially in Tirana. Yeah. But the price goes up. Number five, language. Yeah. What do they speak? Uh, Albanian national language is Albanian. Do they speak English as well? The youngster, they do speak English and the rest is limited, I'll say. For us, we don't find any difficulties yeah. to communicate with the locals. They willing to help you no matter the language you speak. Or learn a few words, such as, let's say, thank you, which is Palomindari. And you can also use Google Translate if you really want to ask particular question. That's what we normally do as well. Oh, they speak Italian? Oh, yes. Most of them they do. They do, like me, zero. <laughs> Since I'm Italian, well, it was easy for us. If you know a bit of Italian, that might help you. Do you recommend people to travel to Albania? Absolutely, without a doubt. Yeah. I think it's an underrated destination, affordable, with a rich culture, great food, great cost. They also have a, a lot of UNESCO, UNESCO sites. sites. But the best. I think it's the hospitality. Consider that when we first arrived, it was a uh, night time, it was winter. I think it was raining as well. You don't have a uh, SIM card We yet? didn't have any SIM card. We didn't know how to contact our host. We asked just one random person mm -hmm. that wasn't speaking any either English or Italian and we weren't able to speak Albanian. He called our host and then gave us a lift. Gave us a lift. The first impression of Albania. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, we're really happy and many more things actually. Wow. The highlight of our trip is hospitality of Albanian people is really amazing. They're really helpful, accommodating and hospitable. Yes. So we really recommend people to travel to Albania. That's it for today guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any question or you have any recommendation. And also please subscribe to this channel share with friends and family and like as well yes see you in the next video ciao guys bye bye